Hey everybody, it's been a little while. Live and in living stereo. It's the Etc. Show with Paul Pease. Yay! I gotta tell you, I know it's been a while. It has been a long time. And I'm sorry about that, guys, but the fact of the matter is, is well, life has happened. Here's my coffee. Yay! You know I always gotta have the coffee. Let me tilt this sucker a little bit. I'm on I'm on a different computer of some sort here, and so I thought I would take a little stab at this. So, we're going to term this, this is season two, by the way. Um, I always thought that my life, one way or another, should be uh, episodes of a television show and put them in seasons. Um, except that I think my uh, life would be a little bit more interesting than the Truman Show. So, we're at season two episode 20. That's what this is going to be termed. And I know some of you people are like, episode 20? Verse 19. Soon, um, I'm going to have some unreleased episodes to put. And I'm, I'm going to label them all 19 just because I can. So, uh, that's what we're going to do with that bit. So, what's this What's this going to be titled? I'm not entirely sure, but let's, let's go through um, this week's um, beefs that I've got, so to speak, okay? Well, I don't know how many of you people that are in my friend circles and subscribers and and uh, and all that other stuff watched any of the last two weeks of Olympics. I, uh, I personally could care less about the things. I, I watched them in fits of boredom. I probably uh, watched a total of about, oh, I don't know, an hour. There you go. I saw about an hour of the Olympics. Interesting little fact, though, about this particular Olympics, the 2012 London Olympics, is that NBC has determined that it was the most watched TV event in U.S. history. That's right. 219 million viewers for the Olympics. I don't know how they came up with that, but 219 million viewers. Uh, up 4 million as opposed to the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Beijing. Um, I didn't see them back then either. I'm, so, um, 219 million people. That's a lot of people uh, to be able to watch this. I got a little bit of a suggestion though. Let's make it a little bit more interesting, a little more local. Uh, I say Redneck Olympics. Yeah, that's right, Redneck Olympics. Now, I know you're saying, Paul, uh, we know you're a northern Yankee idiot. How the hell would you know anything about Redneck Olympics? Well, I don't, but I think it'd be fun if we constructed our very own. I'd say only in the southern states. Makes sense to me, right? If, if there is going to be candidates from the northern states, they obviously have to be rebels. You know what I'm saying? Former Southern people that happen to live up there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at? We still could make it a nationwide thing, but it'd be the Redneck Olympics. So a couple of the ideas that I came up with for the Redneck Olympics that you could make events for. Demolition Derby. Come on, who doesn't like a good Demolition Derby? That could be one of the big main events uh, for the Redneck Olympics. Also, <laughs> rodeos. Hey, what redneck <laughs> doesn't like a rodeo? Hi, Brittany. Uh, doesn't like a rodeo. Hog calling. Mm -hmm. For some people, it would actually mean really hogs. For other people, it might be <laughs> your husband or wife. <clears throat> How many people can go, Woo, pig suey! So, you know, hog calling. Possum throwing. Mm hmm. That's right. How far can you fling your possum? I know that sounds dirty. It wasn't what it was meant to be. Possum throwing. Who likes watermelon? I like watermelon. You like watermelon? Yeah, I like watermelon. Brittany, Brittany likes watermelon. I think a lot of you rednecks and me out there like watermelons. Seedless. No. Seedless. Seeds. Seedless. Because then you'd have your next event. Seedless. Seed spitting. How far could you seed spit in the Redneck Olympics? That'd be another one. Uh, another one, husband, wife, which in reality for some would be brother, sister, three-legged race. <laughs> Who's the best in the Redneck world of the three-legged race? I'm not saying all Redneck married couples are 
brother, sister, but there's some out there. I know one, but I'm going to keep your name to protect your possible innocence. What do you mean? Well, yeah, from that one place. All right. So, beer chugging. Yeah, beer chugging. Now, we could put this as a side division of um, moonshine making, which, you know, that that's a talent in itself to make good moonshine that not only takes the paint off of something and, and just strips your whole entire uh, throat and you got nothing left from the moonshine, um, as long as it doesn't kill you. The last one, I think, on the Redneck Olympics would be really, really fun. Deep fried foods. Deep fried foods. I mean, you, you, you got it. There's a perfect science to this. You know, you go to a county fair, state fair, uh, Frisco Fest in Rogers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever they find. That, that's the thing. They get roadkill is legal in the deep fried Olympics. Who wants to try some fried armadillo? I just put a little Cajun in it. It tastes fantastic. And a little PBR. So, you know, that, that's, that's a big mess, the Redneck Olympics. I'd like to see what uh, ESPN 43 would come up with that or uh, some other channel on that. Hey, you know what? I got to tell you, school is starting down here a week from Monday. I've heard cheers. I've heard boos. I've, I've heard, what the hell? It's too soon. Parents, though, we're going to have a party. We're going to have a party on the 20th after the kids leave. Don't know where. Determined the day. to take sure. Why not? Might as well. Uh, so what I'm getting at on this, though, of course, is that uh, you know, school. You got to have your school books. The new dictionaries have come out for uh, for this year. The 2012 edition of the Webster's Dictionary, which has been around for over 114 years. There's new words this year that have been stuck in the Webster's Dictionary. The number one word that got put in was f bomb. Yeah. F-bomb is now in the dictionary. You can't say, but you can say F-bomb. Uh, I'm like, hmm, okay, F-bomb. So I'd like to see that in a spelling bee. I would. Jimmy Jenkins, spell F-bomb. Is there a space? The, there's a hyphen. And the kid will go, hmm, oh. Teacher, can you can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> yes. My husband, before he slapped me this morning, dropped a bunch of f bobs on me. <clears throat> oh. It, it's, it's just uh, the, the pronunciation is f a p f hyphen b o m b. F bomb. Pronunciation. That was the spelling. That'll get you an A in spelling, kids. No, Don't you said that. pronunciation, but that was the spelling. This is the reason why I do this show most of the time by myself. So what other words ended up on here for the year? Or for this year's edition? Sexting? No surprise. Oh, there. my God. <laughs> hey, Brittany, aren't you guilty of sexting a no, little bit? I thought I heard. No. She no she's that. only 15. Kate? She better not be sexting. Yeah. I'll snip something. What? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh, flexitarian. What the hell is that? I don't know. I tried to look that up. Flexitarian. To me, it sounds like a flexible libertarian. Sounds kinky. Uh, obesogenic. You're obesogenic. Here. I wish I would. Yeah. You're, you're genetically and, and morbidly obese. Uh, energy drink. Only took till 2012. Energy drink. And life coach. Life coaches in, in the dictionary this time around. Uh, really, what's a life coach? Parents are supposed to be the damn life coach. Okay. I should have probably, um, after we talked about the deep fried footage and everything else like that, I have to talk about our, our uh, commander in chief, that idiot. I mean, uh, Obama. <clears throat> yeah, guess where he was earlier this week? He. Uh, he stopped at Council Bluff, Iowa, and there's Iowa, I'm sorry, I got friends of mine from Iowa. Hi, Tim Smith, how you doing? Um, ben, there's not much in Iowa. There really isn't. So he stopped at the State Fair in Council Bluffs, Iowa, 
and and he told the Secret Service and he told Michelle Obama. Michelle wouldn't let him get the fried Twinkie. <laughs> Michelle would not let him get the fried Twinkie. I could care less. I never had one. Maybe you, maybe you redneck obese people <laughs> can tell me if if a Twinkie is really good. But why he went to the to the uh, Iowa State Fair? He he didn't care to see the Iowa people. He could care less about that bit. Oh my God. He uh, he said he told the Secret Service that uh, he uh, he wanted to see the butter cow. The butter cow is a life size cow made out of made butter. Out of butter. Oh my gosh. Seriously, that that that's all he wanted to go to the Iowa State Fair. He wasn't even there thirty minutes, and, and he uh, went to go see the cow made of butter. Uh, you know, I imagine though that uh, I was out in the sun all day, <laughs> and uh, you know, um, why don't you deep fry it? We'll drop it all in there and see how many Iowans in, uh, would eat that. And uh, you know, which of course leads to the next. Uh, segue of, of what I want to bring him. And this is all tied in with food and politics. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, yesterday, uh, they announced um, Mitt Romney's vice presidential candidate. They finally, finally, he went off and opened his big mouth and, uh, and said, yep, it's going to be Paul Ryan from Wisconsin. He's a senator of the cheesehead land. And uh, it's kind of funny. He gets up there at the podium. And he's crying his eyes out, Paul Ryan is, okay? And he goes off and he's like, He's like, <laughs> my ra my veins run with cheese. Oh, That's wow. what he told the 10,000 people yesterday. My veins run with cheese. And uh, which, of course, was a, you know more than a cheesy statement in itself. But <laughs> here's, here's the truth, though, of what he said. You see, because like I said, he's from Wisconsin. The full sentence was, as he was crying, and, and he was blowing kisses, to, to the crowd of 10,000. This isn't the Academy Awards. You just got a VP pick, okay? That's it. He goes off and he says that his veins were full of cheese, bratwurst, little spotted cow, and a few millers. That, to me, spells like an instant heart attack. <laughs> Paul Ryan isn't going to be around all four years if he gets in to be vice president. Hopefully he won't accidentally shoot things like Dick Cheney. Or uh, drop the f bomb like Joe Biden did. Like maybe he can. Maybe yes, like the dictionary. Maybe uh, Mr. Ryan will, if he makes it. Well, uh, you, 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 you gotta. You can't keep eating cheese. I, I love cheese too. It's the best up there. I cannot lie. So, <laughs> um, that other than that, that's that's really it. Uh, I do want to tell all of you fans out there what two I have. That, uh, no, actually, I'm up to 26 subscribers. <whistles> 26 now. Uh, almost 2,100 views. S uh, send this to your all your friends and enemies, uh, this show, because uh, I'm hoping to do some outdoor episodes coming soon. It's not going to all be webcam. I'm not going to be all cooped up in here uh, all the time in the, in the ghetto homestead that I am in in northwest Arkansas. Yeah, I know. And... Uh, but pretty much that's it, guys. Um, to all the people out there in YouTube land, love you. And hopefully I'm going to shoot them on Mondays, guys. We're going to do it on Mondays. So until next Monday, <laughs> enjoy yourself and take care. God bless, etc., etc., etc.